Question number three, we are asked to add these two binary numbers. So now let us rearrange them. We have one, one, zero, one, one. This is base two. And we have one, 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 zero, also in base two. We are asked to add them together. Remember, the highest digit in any number base is one less than the base. You can see this is base two and we do not have any two here. This is also base two, the highest digit is one. So as well, if you are adding once you reach two, you have to use the idea of medulla arithmetic, which is a remainder arithmetic. Let's see how we can add them together. One plus zero is one. It is less than two, therefore we are free to add one in base two. One plus one is two. And we say we do not have two in the set of binary numbers. So how do we do? How many two are there in two? We only have one single two without remainder. This is how it is going to be. One plus one is two, divided by the base, which is also two. And we are going to get one because it can go into two one time without remainder. So the remainder is zero. So always write the remainder once the number is equal to the base or greater than the base. So we have zero here. Then we take this one to the next number here. One plus zero plus one is also two. And if you have two, it's one remainder zero. Drop down the zero. Take that one to the next. One, two, three. Now we have three. Three divided by two is equal to one remainder one. Because two can go into three one time remainder one. Write down the remainder. Take that one to the next. Three again is one remainder one. Keep down the one, take the one to the next, but we do not have any number here to add this one with. Drop it down. And this is our result. One, 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 zero, zero, one in base two, which is the option, uh, option B, question number three. So now let us look on to question number four.